What's up doggo adventurers? Have you ever been hanging out with your dog and somebody else's dog and thought, man, I wish my dog was as well trained as that one? Well, I've got a tip that can make any dog into the best behaved dog on the block coming up. secret at all. It's what I'm doing with Maple pretty much every day and what you should be doing with your dog every day. And it's play. It's just playing with your dog. You set up the rules, you create an object, and you give them a way to win. It's, it's not just playing fetch. It's anything that you want your dog to do. Make it into a game, make it play, make it fun. I'll show you how me and Maple work on our training with play right now. Do it. Okay, you ready? Here. Sit. Down. Here, Here we go. Yes. Now. Now, I know what you're saying. We've been working on this stuff forever with Maple. Of course she's going to do it for the ball. And that's true but it was a building process. It was finding out what motivates her, making a game out of it, and then teaching her things with that special motivation. In her case, it's the ball. For your dog, it might be food or a stick or a game of tug, but play. Play is so, so, so important in terms of training your dog. So get out there, play with your dog, go swimming, find the thing that motivates it, and have a blast. You guys will bond, and it'll be so fun. All right, until next time, guys, happy doggo adventure. One more thing I forgot to mention. I watched this really spectacular but very sad documentary last night called um, and Dog We Trust. And it's about a bunch of different things. It's about how many dogs are euthanized, so, you know, tearjerker alert. It's also about how deeply people connect with their dogs and how it's such a paradox that these creatures that we love so much are the object of so much suffering and mistreatment. It's an awesome documentary but the main thing I kept thinking about with it and it relates to what we're talking about today is that a lot of dogs that are abandoned are abandoned because the owner just can't figure the dog out, the dog can't figure the owner out, the owner is like, oh, this dog is a terrible companion. I'm just going to go drop it off at the pound and find a new, better dog. And the issue with that is people aren't learning how to connect with their dogs. I mean, dogs have at least 4,000 years of practice bonding with us. They know how to communicate with us as long as we communicate with them in the right way. Dogs are playful creatures. so. You put play plus communication together and you have a perfect cocktail for connecting with your dog and turning it into the dog that you want it to be and in turn you'll be the handler that your dog wants you to be and your relationship will be awesome. You'll have so much fun. You'll be so grateful for each other. So really guys, I'm just encouraging you. Get out there, play with your dog, figure out which games it loves, and then use those games to teach it the things that you want to teach it. All right, see you guys later.